Melting Stone is a site-specific installation that is located at the Flossenburg Memorial to the concentration camp. There is a building next door to the camp at the site of the granite quarry where prisoners used to work that was formerly the offices of the Deutsche Erd und Steinwerk, which was the SS-owned company who administered the quarry. In this building, there is a large hall, which was formerly known as the Volksgeschaftssaal, where a large mural covers the entirety of a 14 meter long wall. Nazi ideology is depicted by showing strong stone workers and builders painted in a fascist realist style. In the decades since the camp's liberation, the faces of the figures depicted in the mural were intentionally removed and all over the paint has chipped away and peeled over time. The parts of the painting that have not been rubbed off, chipped or decayed were the parts that I wanted to sand and make opaque with this glass mural and all the parts that were already decayed or could not were no longer visible because of time or human intervention were the parts that I wanted to remain clear. And so there's a new drawing that emerges through the scratching of the surface and it shifts the view to the contents of history that might be told through its absences. So through using the glass, I was also interested in the material qualities of glass. Um, and I found out that 30% of the granite stone that is found in that area is made up of silica sand and silica is what gets melted down into glass. The second part of the exhibition uses the materials of glass and stone particularly the granite stone that is to be found in the quarry next door to the Deutsche Erd und Steinwerk building. This granite was once lava that was flowing 30 kilometers underground. Through continental shifts, it was pushed towards the earth's surface and over millions of years, layers of earth eroded, causing the lava to cool and crystallize into what is now exposed as solidified matter in the form of granite. This series of sculptures experiments with heating the stones to the point at which they begin to melt and the life cycle of the stone is revealed. The solid material of stone commonly put to work in service of mourning and memorialization is inverted into a fluid substance, one that can be imaginatively imbued with the latent potentiality of lava in the depths of the earth. 